Our next topic, while the unifying process has begun for the National Republican Party, the Ohio GOP still has some healing to do. Ohio Republican Chairman Kevin DeWine will step down, leaving next week. That's before his term ends. He is being forced out by Governor John Kasich and his allies who have fought a bitter battle to take control of the state Republican Party. Joe Howell, let me get this straight. The guy who lost badly, his party lost badly in 2010, is still there, at least for now. The guy who won or he led his party in 2010 to the governor's victory, all the statewide victories, recapture the House, he's out. Yeah, really makes no sense, does it? <laughs> and, and even when you hear the arguments for getting rid of Kevin DeWine, they, they still aren't strong. I, I've yet to hear the, uh, a good narrative for kicking out the guy who just won everything in 2010. What it's about is, is power and money and Kasich is not the first governor who's wanted to control the party and the chairmanship. I mean, uh, Jim Rhodes tried to get rid of Ray Bliss, and George Voinovich tried to get rid of Bob Bennett, but John Kasich is the first governor to succeed in recent memory. Uh, he's done so in a very uh, mean-spirited and, and ugly way. I mean, the campaign waged for control of the Central Committee was... Uh, more rancorous and nasty than a campaign I've ever be seen between Democrats and Republicans. Uh, and there, there, uh, talk of coercion and and um, uh, inducements and FBI investigations and all of this. So it's it's just been a remarkable thing to watch. Michael, as a Republican, active in Republican politics, how do you view this? Is this how, what do you make of all this? Well, I don't think it can ever be good. I mean, some people may say hey, these these primary fights, if you will, uh, uh, inter-party fights are, are really good for everybody. I don't really see it that way, um, but it does happen. I don't think it'll have any effect in November. Uh, I don't think it'll have any effect whatsoever in a presidential race, whether the people will like the Republicans like what was done or don't like what was done to the chairman. Uh, they're going to be out in full force to try and win this thing. So I don't think it negates into uh, November votes. Now, down the line, uh, will there be some ill feelings from some of these people in regards to the governor and vice versa? I, I'm sure there will be, and, and uh, whether that has an effect as time goes on, we'll see. But I don't see any near term. There's, if you don't mind, th sure. there's one thing that occurred in all this, and maybe Mike has some insight into this. I thought Kevin DeWine diffused this situation what, several weeks ago when he announced that he would not run for re-election in January, that he would serve out his term and then the Kasich person could. Uh, the Kasich people immediately said, that's not good enough, you have to go now. And none of them have told me exactly why it was so important that he leave now. The only thing I can think of is that if DeWine had carried Ohio for Romney and Josh Mandel in the Senate race, yeah. then he's got a pretty strong narrative for re remaining. Yeah. Of course, if he loses, that's an easy thing to get rid of him. But may maybe Mike knows why it was so important that he leave now. I, I don't know, Joe, but I think had he said that, and I'm just guessing on my part, had he said that in uh, uh, October or something, it, it, uh, it might have been something, but they went to war, they had the battle, as you said, uh, for the Central Committee, and the governor feels like his group won, and there's no need to wait uh, till the end of the year. He's got the votes, he thinks, for the meeting in April, and so he's going to do it. Joe Moss, let, let me ask you, as someone who has run for office before, yes. um, what is this, why does this matter to, to I mean, to the, the party leadership structure? Why does it matter to the average person out there? I don't think it matters to the average person. I think in, in that way, Mike and I are in full agreement. The interesting observation, uh, sort of as a, as a spectator sport, uh, on the part of our viewers is the fact that these intra-party fights are oftentimes a lot more acrimonious than the inter-party fights as that, a candidate, that we see. As yeah. a candidate, how does it matter? Well, how does it affect individual candidates oh, running for office on e think, from each party? Exactly, and I was thinking about that in, when you were making your comment. I think it might matter as it might translate it into financial support. And uh, if you have people in the Central Committee or supporters of DeWine that perhaps uh, might be bitter as to the way that this was handled by the governor's office, it might, instead of making out a check for $1,000, maybe I make one out for 250 Joe Engels, the Democrats, not to be left out, they have their own little <laughs> squabble their own over little their spat. chairmanship. Yeah. Chris Redfern, 
some unions right. have come out saying we want him gone. Now Jennifer Bruner has said we want him out. Yes, um, there there are some, like you mentioned, that say they want him out. But it's also notable that some of the larger unions uh, have come out this week in support of Chris Redfern uh, staying on in that post. Um, as you pointed out, he didn't do so well leading the party to any victory uh, statewide in you know the last election, but. Uh, this election is different. There are different dynamics. Things are changing. So, um, you know, his outlook is better. Um, if you talk to him, he'll say, I think, you know, this is rolling well for us and we have, you know, things are getting better with the economy and, and uh, it will be good for, and, you know, him. And we don't he have thinks. the bloodshed in Cuyahoga County that right. we did last time that cost 55,000 votes to the right. Democratic yeah. Party. That's a big one. Stay tuned on the union front. On Monday, the UAW is coming out against Chris Redford. Mm -hmm. That'll be the biggest one yet. So we could have a change in leadership there mm -hmm. as well.